Aaron Murphy might have been one of the most well-known and youngest stars in Hollywood in the 60s and 70s when she won our hearts as the youngest actor on Bewitched. I got a chance to catch up with her at her Malibu Beach house to talk acting, motherhood, travel, and how to balance it all. Stop that. Make me. We grew to love her as the little witch Tabitha who inherited her mother's superpowers on the show Bewitched. My name is Tabitha. What was it like growing up on that set? I mean, with those people, it was such a classic show. Everyone watched it. Everyone still watches. Freedom. Yeah, it was a great show. I mean, I feel lucky, and it was fun. And even though I was the only kid there for most of the show, all the, all the adults on the show were, were wonderful to me, and it was Probably more fun than some shows because there'd be animals there and magic, and it was really fun. When she was barely able to walk, Aaron Murphy also made a mark with a detergent commercial. And protects against diaper rash. I was a toddler, and I was topless in a diaper in a commercial with Ronald Reagan. So I think I'm one of the few people who could say I worked topless with Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Bewitched went off the air when she was eight, and she continued doing commercials and guest spots on shows like Lassie. Muffin! Oh, Muffin, we thought we'd never see you again. Despite the fame, Murphy, now a mother of six, says she had a normal Southern California childhood. Now, decades later, she is still acting and still in touch with her Hollywood family. Real mommies sometimes have to say no, but it still means I love you, okay? Okay, mommy. <laughs> Liz Montgomery was kind of like a mom to me. And as an adult, I'm very good friends still with her children and, and you know other people who are still in the business. And people say that I remind them of her. And I think it's because I spent so much time with her. In some ways, probably more than my own mom. And drawing real life inspiration from another old time show. The Brady Bunch. What has it been like to raise six kids? It's been That's great. a lot. My favorite TV show when I was a kid was The Brady Bunch, so I love the idea of a big family. Um, I have six boys, so um, I may have had three or four if one had been a girl. <laughs> but you kept trying for a girl? Yeah, Despite the duties of motherhood, it seems she still manages to do it all. Travel, acting, working as a correspondent, captaining a boat, running her own alpaca line, Erin Murphy Knits, cooking and volunteering for various organizations, even serving as an autism advocate, a cause that became even closer to her heart when her son Parker was diagnosed. Did it help to have all the siblings around? No. No? <laughs> <laughs> made it worse? No. <laughs> um, I, I don't think it made it worse or helped. I think, I think as a parent, um, it was difficult because you want to make sure that each kid gets their own time. The eternal optimist, she's always willing to put herself out there and try new things. You may have seen her on RuPaul's Drag Race or Hulk Hogan's Celebrity Wrestling Show. I was like jumping off things and knocking down Dennis Rodman and people. It was, it was crazy and it was hard. It was like we were bruised and injured and I don't think you could do the things we did on most sets. When the pandemic hit, she set up a recording booth in the closet and started doing voiceover work. I don't even know what retiring means because as far as acting goes, people act until they're you know until they're dead <laughs> so I, I love acting and I, I have always loved this business so I want to work as long as I can I want to travel as long as I can a walking lesson on balance with no plans to retire every single day is a new day I mean you can wake up and suddenly decide you want to learn Italian you can make that choice so it's it's just realizing there's no such thing as a rut because you can change it a rut is your car gets stuck in a rut but you get to car out of the rut mm -hmm. so just figure out what sounds fun I mean and whether that's you want to go walk on the beach you don't need money to change your life you just need to change your perspective well, she wow. says she's had a big life, a crazy life, but a really fulfilling life with no regrets. And she actually attributes being a kid actor to a lot of the joy that she finds in adulthood. And that's not something you hear no, that often it's usually when the you opposite. talk to child actors. They say it's like damage them, but she has completely the opposite perspective. And she really is an eternal optimist. She's such a positive person. Well, you can see it. It's almost from the inside out. Yeah. She just exudes this joy and positivity. I, I, I want to be your friend. You I want know. to be my friend? I want to be your friend too. <laughs> that was a great. Story. Thank you. <laughs> the time right now.